I'm going to create a book tag based on a channel that's getting deleted in less than three weeks. YouTube, please don't take this down. <laughs> Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing an original book tag. I know another original book tag inspired by the channel run by Markiplier and Great Gameplays called Unis Honest. Um, Unis Honest is a channel that is complete chaos that Mark and Ethan created. Hi! <laughs> um, that is intended to just last for a year and its time is almost up and then they are deleting the whole thing. Um, so I've got my black cat my white self, and some prompts for books. So here we go. Most of these prompts are based off of some of the most popular or infamous um, videos <laughs> on the channel. The first one is Unis. Name a book with the modest character. I'm choosing... I forgot her name. So this is her name from The Upside of Falling. Um, this is a YA contemporary book um, about this girl and guy who for their own reasons pretend to be dating so there's the fake dating trope that turns into real dating the girl pretends to date him because she's tired of her mom being on her case about not having a boyfriend and he pretends to date her because of similar reasons um except for both of his parents um not much to say about it. It was cutesy. It was really cute. I loved it. Number two is Honest, a character with an ego. I'm choosing a favorite of mine, again, Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy. This is about a skeleton detective and this girl who fight crime and use magic and it takes place in Ireland and it's great. The audiobooks are amazing. Um, but the main one of the main characters, Skullduggery Pleasant, he has like this kind of uh, he has this kind of ego that is like, oh, I'm so good and stuff, like, egos do be like, um, except it's kind of like a joking ego, like, he, like, he jokes about how great he is, um, because, like, even though he knows he's impressive and, like, one of the most valuable magical people in Ireland, um, he is also aware that he needs to, like, calm down at times, but for his partner, Valkyrie, he also does it to make her laugh and stuff, and so it's really cute. It's a really cute kind of ego. Yeah. Number three is Peace on him. A book you wish you could unread. Got Baja Blast. We're gonna Baja Blast out some piss. I'm, I'm fucked. I'm, I'm, it looks like a beer. <laughs> Why? Oh, dude, you're fucked. Oh, no. <laughs> It's carbonated. <laughs> I choose Adult Lessons by Gabby Hanna. This was a poetry book. Um, I DNF'd it very quickly um, because the poems felt like either a third grader wrote them or like they were tweets that were just reworded. Like this was some of the worst stuff I've ever seen. <laughs> I try not to like tear people down like especially artists on my channel um but this was horrendous um and i wish i could unread some of those poems number four cooking with sex toys an adult book <laughs> 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 this was the very first like proper video on the channel other than just Unisonis, which is basically saying like what the channel is for and stuff. Um, and this is one of my favorite videos as well. They cooked breakfast with sex toys that they got. Um, so anyway, an adult book. I'm choosing The Roommate. Um, this was a book that I just read like this past month. Um, I gave it three stars. Like it was about this girl who moved from the East Coast to, the, to California um, to chase the love of her life and stuff. Um, and she is a roommate with this guy who is a porn star. And she is kind of this like professional girl and she doesn't really react well to it except she starts forming a friendship and then they start to fall in love and they start to run a business together. Um, if you get my drift, 
I haven't read a lot of adult books, but I kind of enjoyed this one. There were some really quite sweet moments actually. No. Number five, Camp Unis Honest, a book that has some kind of outdoor element. I'm choosing Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. This is about, um, it's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet retelling. Um, this guy and girl used to be best friends, then their parents got into some fights, so now they're like mortal enemies. Um, but then them and some other friends of theirs, they go camping, except their friends abandon them at some point um, to be left out in the forest by themselves. But luckily the guy is uh, like a camping expert basically and he brings them back to safety and it was like... So again, because it was a Romeo and Juliet retelling, they were like cliches and stuff, but it was really cute um, and I enjoyed it and I love the cover, so... Number six, Quarantanus, a book where your reading experience was a roller coaster. Educated by Tara Westover was the worst reading experience I've had in my life that I can think of. Um, this was an amazing book. I want to start. I think I gave it like four and a half stars or something. It was really good. One of the, um, it's nonfiction. It's about this girl who grew up in this very conservative household and she didn't step foot in a classroom until she was seventeen years old. Um. Like she didn't have a birth certificate or anything. A lot of you know I'm very liberal and like social activism and stuff um, and a lot of uh, when people don't, when pe people have conspiracy theories that they're like not joking about that they're really serious about and they don't like think about or anything. I'm trying not to offend people. Um, that really bugs me and the father in this was a big conspiracy theorist um but she lived up in a cons she lived in a conservative household and i had to read this for a class and my quiz ended up becoming extra credit instead of required so that was great um and there was a lot of triggering things in here it was just not a fun read for me personally like i was texting um, my friend about it basically the whole time and he was like, I can't wait for you to be done reading this book. And I'm like, yeah, me neither. Um, again, great book, just not the best reading experience. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Three big boys attempt the King's Royal Fitness Test. This is no longer the presidential fitness test. This is the King's Fitness Test. We're here again with Alex. Alex. Uh, uh, he's gonna guide us through. Um, we've both been working out. We've both been training. Yes, we have. This isn't one of my favorite videos by any means, but it does include a recurring guest, um, Alex, who's Mark's personal trainer. And I so I wanted to include that. Um, and for this one, I'm um, saying the Foxhole Court. Um, this has like, I think it was like lacrosse or something. I DNF'd it because I couldn't really get into the whole sports thing. This is about some kid that's like running from his past because an orphan or something. There's supposed to be a spec rep in here. I don't know who because I didn't get that far. But yeah, sports. Number eight, reacting to your hilarious green screen memes. A book that includes some element of movies or TV or documentary, etc. Oh, baby. <laughs> For this one, I am choosing Going Off Script by Jen Wilde. This is about a girl who's uh, from Seattle and she moves down to LA, I think, for this internship with the, the creator of her favorite TV show. Um, and she kind of gets bullied by the producer and stuff. I think he was the producer. Um, and then she works really closely with some of the actors. Sorry, I had to let my Unis out. Alicia. Um, yeah, she works closely with some of the actors, but then um, the producer like, steals her script and she has to basically work to like get the recognition and stuff. It was really cute. It was really good. There's a lot of representation. There was like gay um, questioning bisexual, I think. Um, there's Indian American. Um, there was, there were uh, other characters from other um, Jen Wilde books that are various other sexualities and genders and stuff um, that made appearances um, and I love the cover. <laughs> Number nine, Mark and Ethan become United States citizens. 
a book with immigration or that is in a country other than the United States. Uh, where you learn about the government, you learn about what it's like to be a citizen, you learn things like how to do your taxes, you learn how to vote, you learn all the important things about local uh, government, you learn to get involved in your community and stuff like that. You remember? Uh, no, because that's not what I was taught at all. I was not taught about those things. Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, that's not what's taught in social studies. Why? Why? <laughs> ah! I don't know! For this one, I am choosing Persopolis by Marjorie Sage Happy. This is about a girl who grew up in I Iran in, I believe, the 1960s. 60s during the Islamic Revolution. Um, it's a graphic novel, it's a memoir. I had to read it in high school and for a college course and it was really interesting um, and she just kind of covers like growing up like from being a kid to a teenager to when she had to um, move to Paris and like, her mom dying and just different things that she did while she was still living in I Iran that could be considered rebelling, like having certain posters, listening to certain music, um, drinking alcohol and stuff, and it was really, really interesting. Number 10, finding the most cursed image on the internet. A book that has a bad cover. What about this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My God, that actually is gonna be hard to beat. This picture radiates. <laughs> Just a cursed energy I can't put into words. So I gave this book three and a half or 3.75 stars. Um, the first book in the series is my favorite book. Um, but what the hell is this cover for Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, um, the prequel to the Hunger Games trilogy? Um, like if you look at this, you definitely like think, oh, Hunger Games, cool. And like the emblem here isn't horrible it's just i don't like this these shades of green this is honestly my biggest problem is the green <laughs> i know that's such a nitpicky thing but i hate these greens green is one of my least favorite colors and i hate these like there are much worse covers out there it's just this is the first one that came to mind um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is the prequel to The Hunger Games. It follows Coriolanus Snow um, when he's around 18 in the academy um, in the capital, and he is a tribute to one of the tributes for District 12 and the, the 12th or 15th Hunger Games. I don't even remember. 10th? The 10th one, I believe. I should know this. Um, and he has some mentor her, and there's a whole bunch of different things that happen. Um, I enjoyed it more than a lot of people on booktube, I think, but I hate the cover. <laughs> so that's all I've got for today. The questions will be down in the description if you want to do them, um, if you want to do this tag, but I do tag Mason from the GD256 and Oval from Opalescent. I will put both of their channels down in the description as long as, as well as the link to Unis Honest while it still exists for the next 19, 20 days. Um, I'm not going to delete this video after the channel is deleted because it is my baby and I have created this book tag. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, get a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I upload. I upload relatively frequently um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.